there a difference between the metabolism of someone who is overweight, whether it's 20 pounds, whether it's 50, whether it's 100 pounds, and someone who is, say, their ideal weight, a thin person, in other words? Unquestionably. You know, people that have a weight problem, people that have excess weight, they start to have a slow metabolism. People that metabolism starts to slow down, they have a weight problem. So if your metabolism is slow, you have a weight problem. If you have a weight problem, your metabolism goes. It's a vicious oh cycle. Goodness. You see, yeah, you have to break the cycle. And anything that does not address this issue, this metabolic issue, the underlying problem, so to speak, mm -hmm. is just going to fail. You, know, you have to address the metabolic concerns of the body by providing the body with the essentials that it needs, the natural essentials that it needs to break this cycle and actually move forward with your metabolism. So then it is possible for someone who is overweight to develop the metabolism of a thinner person. Not only the metabolism of a younger, thinner person, but also the health of a younger, thinner person. What about people who uh, are, let's say, 40, 50, 60 years old, you know, the, the middle age spread has crept sure. on, they've tried all these diet plans, they can't seem to lose the weight and they think, well, I'm, I'm just getting old, it's just the, just the way my body Why is. Why even try? Yeah, it's too yeah. late. Is yeah. it too late? This is something that I, I hear so commonly in the clinic, people come in 40s, 50s and above that say, you know, what's the point? Why should I even start now? Right. And the fact is that people in their 40s, 50s, 60s and, and beyond, those people make some of the most staggering improvements. And really? this is what people don't realize. People think that somehow, oh, I gotta be in my 20s or 30s or it's not gonna work. Uh, quite honestly, people that have been sedentary most of their life, people that are going into middle-aged and older mm -hmm. that with, with, uh, with residual weight problems that they may have had for a long period of time can have some of the most amazing, amazing results. So it's never too late. Absolutely not. Start today. Yes. Conventional wisdom out there, a lot of people who are going on, on weight loss plans or they're trying to, to drop weight, uh, they're under some probably false impressions uh, that you have to starve yourself, that yeah. you have to count no calories. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. <laughs> count, count, eat like a yeah, rabbit or sure. eat a bird seed diet. Sure. Uh, obviously, that's, that's not the case. No, it's insanity. It's absolutely insanity. Yeah. If, going back to this idea that you know, if your body feels pain and discomfort, which it's always going to feel on these fad diets, mm -hmm. then something is wrong. You have to listen to your body. Your body, our bodies are not stupid. Our bodies are very smart. They signal to us through pain and discomfort that something is wrong and the fad diets are wrong and they stop us. And it's correct. We have to feed our bodies the essentials to break this metabolic spiral, this downward spiral, right. and we have to address that concern, and we do that. Through Tell us about oh, that. precisely. Just as metabolism and having a slow metabolism or a subpar metabolism can lead to weight issues, and just as those weight issues, those problems with your weight can lead back on having a slow metabolism, self-esteem is so often tied in there somewhere. You know, I mean, uh, people that uh, oftentimes have weight problems, this is a signal that they have self-esteem issues, and it's, sure. it's really uh, a big issue for them. When they lose the weight, their self-esteem improves. They start to feel a sense of self-importance and self-worth, and they can really turn their lives around and get control of their lives. So you lose the weight and everything else just seems to get better. Health, really, your respect, health, your health gets better. Your whole life sort of opens up and it's really terrific. You gain more respect because again when people see you that you're starting to lose uh, control of your body, mm -hmm. you're starting to let yourself go, it's oftentimes again a signal that perhaps your life is sort of you know, lucid, getting loose at the, yeah, at the well, edges. You know. It's not always fair, but that's the perception of it. Not always fair. And then when, when, you, when you find yourself losing the weight, when you go to the office, when you, when you see your friends, when you get together with uh, family, uh, right. so oftentimes they look at you and they just can't believe it. And they're inspired by you and they're, you have a whole new sense of respect from them. I, uh,